What about these skeletons? I can't look at the skeletons? Oh, she put her torch in her pocket. <laughs> I know there's, but you're like, let's do it now. By the time I've already done it, I, it's, I'm gone. I'm done. Can I walk in the water? No, I can't walk in the water. Okay. That would be too easy. Is, um, is the latency thing fixed? Like, um, is there that setting that lets you... Backseat, that's exactly what it is. Backseat gave me with a delay, which sucks, because, like, I'd like to... They, they rolled out super low latency for partners? Aw, oh, bummer. I'm just an affiliate. Okay. What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Use the tab key. Aha! Okay. Now I see. Alright. You crack up the riverbank and dip your water into the cool your water skin into the cool water while Kaliska waits nearby keeping watch. As you rise, you notice or look up sharply towards the tree line. Uh oh. Ah! to his gate, his stride wobbly as he moves towards you with flavored bread. <laughs> Sparful, are you alright? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Sparful's toe catches on a rock and he collapses forward in a heap. The feathered shaft of an arrow plants it between his shoulders like an enemy flag. Okay, he's not a zombie. That's fine. He's just dead. Ambush! You what? What? Okay. We don't know any of their defenses or anything. Um. I don't. Can I just go? Just punch him. And uh, you uh, go punch him. Oh wait. Okay, so now we have... Oh. Speed. Oh, so that's like, um, okay. It's a little bit of healing. I wonder how many main characters have died due to incorrect song identification. Just like, ah! And then you're like, oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's just a dead person. It's fine. She can use... She's got a wound. Here, do that to him. Because he's a jerk, I'm, I'm sure. Hmm? Do the thing. Oh, what? No, do the thing. Attack him. Yeah. Hmm. More than can be counted. Sometimes a weapon or spell simply isn't well suited to penetrating enemies' damage reduction. When the attack hits, the damage reduction will wipe out all but a small percentage of the incoming damage. We hear your characters complain about it when it happens. Take heed, note that the damage type that's being blocked, and switch to a different weapon or spell that does a different damage type. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so everything... Mm. Yeah! Oh, wait, no. Mm, okay. So you go attack her. Also, I will go attack her as well. Hmm? Do the thing, you silly. 
Hmm? Puncher! Why isn't it punching? Hmm? Oh my gosh! Back to camp. First, we have to loot. I have leather armor equipped. Was there land attacks due to attack speed? She just ran in. She did actually, Sir Sam. She did, but it was probably my fault because <laughs> I don't know what I'm. Doing. I'm just pressing buttons. Just pressing buttons at this Got point. It. Hmm. A beer! We need a beer. The prints are on the campfire and distinct. It may have been here for days. Dun 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 dun! I'm just gonna explore, it's fine. Okay, we basically explored everything. We should be good. Nothing else to look at. Nope. Quick! While the music is really dramatic. The dramatic music is overkill! <laughs> You're not wrong. Quick, back to camp. Quick! Quick! <laughs> Quickly, obviously, we have to go. I did most of the damage. Oh no, I can't! No! Everybody's dead! No! 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 Oh, okay. Hmm? Go attack him! Go get him! Yeah, punch him! Punch him really hard. Ah. Let me loot your body, you ungrateful whelp. Traumatic music was right. Sure. Wait. Yeah. No! Everybody's murdered! Everybody's murdered! I'm gonna murder you! All around you lie the massacred remains of the other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hilts, splayed and bug-eyed and filthy. Kaliska puts the back of her left hand to her mouth as if to ward away some poisonous vapor. I will never doubt dramatic music again. I'm glad I didn't talk to anybody else, actually. A handful of dark figures stands over the fallen, treading on limbs and backs and heads, jerking their ants' axes for bodies as if from half-split logs. One of them, towering and severe with a thick beard tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the hand of the man you recognize as Haven, the last of your caravan left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight you will lose. Oh, uh, Why have you done this? You have trespassed in places of which no mortal man is worthy. You are trespassers and plunderers all. We will see this outrage avenged. So I say again. Um, okay, so don't trust them. They mean to kill us all. Only a fool attacks a weak enemy while a strong one lives. Okay, so perception, intellect, and resolve. Judging by the string of animals around your neck, I'm guessing you are the worshippers of Galloway. If Galloway told you to stop protecting the ruins... Hmm. I should have tried the. I thought. I thought the other lore options would would still let me do stuff. The man frowns and motions as if to swing his axe. Hayden winces, but the blow never comes. Instead, the man cocks his head and treat. Of course, but he would not. It is by the command of all the gods that we accept this charge. How do you know? Because it's consistent with their beliefs, or because it's what you were told? 
The man glares. It has always been known to my people. I see. And what if Galloway's edict at weakness and age must be purged by youth and strength? You think Galloway would want some moldy, crumbling stones to survive long after the builders have turned to dust? The man's nostrils flare as he fumes. He would not. He told us otherwise. I'm sure he did. Just not you personally. But why should that stop you from killing innocents? Distracted, the man's grip falters on his axe handle and he nearly fumbles it, affording Haley the moment he needs to dodge out of his swing, which comes too late. Howling with rage, the man charges you instead. I did it! Run, Hayden! Are you part of my freaking party now? What the heck? Okay. I don't have a wound yet! How do I get a wound? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Let's see if it works. Hi, right, man. Hey, man. You're, you're apparently a rogue type. He is a rogue. Get, apparently, take damage. More accidents with cutlery. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. Whoa. Whoa! Aodin or whatever. Aodin is gonna die. Many spells and abilities that impose eternity have a limited number of uses. An ability that can be used a number of times per encounter will have all of its uses restored when combat ends. Uh, okay, so I do have to keep track of my resting. Lemon Z! Bye, Lemon Z! It was good to see you! Thank you for coming by, friend! I hope you sleep well and your jammies are comfy. Um, hey, Owen, or whatever, you should maybe go over here. Actually, get this guy if I can since he's chasing Heowen. Hmm? I scored a crit! A crit is better result than a hit, and their more likely to occur when the attack's accuracy is higher than the target's defense. Okay. Attacks do damage that will do more damage on crit. Attacks that inflict status effects or afflictions will have increased duration. Grazes are worse than hits and suffer decreased damage and affect your- oh, okay. That's cool, actually. Mm, hang on, actually, okay, we should just keep attacking What's you need? Guy, right? Your enemy lies supine on the ground! I love when people use supine instead of just they lay on the ground. Uh, unable to rise, his companion is now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing and fitful gasp. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a whisper of wind stirs the air. Uh-oh. The bad wind is coming! At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good. The gods adjust. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it fitting in to seep beneath your skin, and where it pierces you, it feels as though it was rending you apart from within. I tried to use Kaliska's knockdown. Oh my god, are you still alive? Seated against a wagon wheel amidst the howling maelstrom, slashed across chest and bowel, Odema's body stirs, and with great effort he raises his sagging head, his eyes barely open, and he looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! Run! Well, grab him! Oh my gosh! It's stealing all their souls! It's stealing their souls! Did you see that? It flew out of their bodies. Whoa! This is really dripping crazy, really? 
straining against the gale that threatens to pull you off to your feet with every step. You set your hands in the worn folds of weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up the precipice with a last burst of energy. Before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Head and trails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers, who have been fading death, lunges for Hayoden and topples him onto the rocky ground. No! Restrained, Hayoden lashes out against his fatigued assailant, but struggles to break his... his... old? His hold. Without a weapon in your hands, you can do little to help him where you stand. Dexterity 15, grab a rock and hurl it at the attacker. Your aim is true, and the hit jars Hayoden loose. Lunging to his feet, Hayoden climbers up with the base of the rocks, and he nears the top. However, the wind flails, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. But diving out under the hard rock, you manage to hold it off, hold, catch hold of it, securing his other hand. You pull with waiting strength, and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. They hold just long enough for Hayoden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. Dun -dun -dun! This looks like Darkest Dungeon. There is a deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest, as though it would shake the marrow from your very bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight! Whoa! Many aspects of the interface and display can be adjusted to your personal preference in the option menu. <laughs> It seems to be both very lucky and very unlucky at the same time. <laughs> this is dramatic reading with Rabbit Squirrel. Yeah! Was that? It was an earthquake! A Buick. Had to be. Hey, Odin. Uh, you're acting all nice and friendly, but you're a rogue type, so I don't trust you. Then we're lucky to be alive. And we're the only ones. Who is he? I mean, I, I know who is he? Sam, what's his face, but he sounds so familiar. He sounds like somebody from Dragon Age. And I can't think of it off the top of my head. It's like an NPC character. Oh, it's killing me. Who is it? Oh, I don't, I think it's a mage. Is it Jowen? He kind of sounds like Jowen. Maybe that's who it is. Maybe not. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Was the Bailwick or whatever it was like just a coincidence? Or was it like did the barbarian people actually like summon it with their deaths? Or um, did the deaths of everybody summon it? <laughs> Who the freak knows? Money! I completed a quest. Okay, that's we're not going that Got way. Wait, no. You said um return will uh, activate. It doesn't. Nope. I I don't know which button it is that actually hmm. selects everybody. Your char or your chair? Can I? Ooh. The lower level of the ruins has been blocked off by fallen rubble. I was gonna say, can I fall into that? Let's see, do we have just that? We're gonna go explore some ruins! That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? Uh. We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Is is he is he still really low? Um Who attacked us? Glanfathoms, those be the hut dwellers Adema warns you about. Look to be fangs of Galowin, who are the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odema, I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. What happened out there? Uh Kaliska shakes her head. Oh, character. You're a ranged row using a ranged attack. Stop running up, I see. I know, the floor has steaming holes, and we're walking on it. Maybe it's just dust? Pretend it's dust. 
The windstorm. Of a kind, they only get in Eric Glanfath. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Glanflam, where it is Beowick. To them, it's the God's way of reaping, reaping the souls of the land that couldn't find their own way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours? I think so. The Glan fans said we were trespassing in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odemo would never allow it, but as much as the fangs are hotheads, Glan fathoms don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... She glanced down the passage beyond. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. Or our scout friend, um... Did something he wasn't supposed to. Also, am I gonna die? Uh, cause I haven't had my berries or my water. Like, can I just drink that? What about everyone's in our caravan? Kaliska's lips pressed together and her chin rumbles. Her voice is faint. The wheel's got a hold of them now. She looks up. God's grant them better luck in their next lives. You don't seem too upset about all this. She looks you in the eye, a volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse, too. Seen worse and kept on walking. Because there's nothing else to be done. And because there's other people out there who you care about who still need you. Oh, I'm fine? Okay, just play the game. Okay, I'm playing. I am playing. I'm gonna play. I am. Okay, we have two directions we can go. We can go the creepy green way or the creepy orange way. This looks kind of like a boss area, but we're going to go over here first. Ooh. Okay. Ay ay ay. A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you reckon... No, as, a, as a Zaru. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. Um, raise your arms and stand still. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Please don't hurt me. The creature sniffs around you and finds something of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. It's okay, I won't hurt you. The Zaru recoils, fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft looking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Okay, uh, I'll slowly back away. I, I won't I won't pressure you right now. Oh, how do I rest? Mm. Oh. Hayden's fine. He's got most of his health. And his endurance. Yeah. Go to the left. Okay, we'll go to the left. I keep feeling there's other people in here. Wonder who was here. See if they left anything useful behind. A small shield and a torch. Thanks. Ooh, and this. Uh, a mace, camping supplies, and a hammer and chisel. Useful for chipping away hard surfaces, particularly ones that display structural weaknesses. You can loot things and get options. I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of options. Okay. So that was actually the dead end. Did I did I did I take all? Did I take it all? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's the button I pressed. Yeah, that button right there. Stash? He has a bow and he has lockpicks. I did. Oh, how did I Oh, okay. Weird. I thought I pressed it. You can use these threats in the wilderness of dungeons. Fully restore. That's nice. It's like portable uh, Dark Souls uh, fires. Fully restoring all your characters' abilities and health. Easy difficulty allows you to carry more camping supplies. Yay! And you can stay at inns. Oh, this is so fun. It's like I'm in my own fantasy book. Oh, if it's blue, you didn't loot it. Okay. 
Good, good, good to know. This is like being in my own fantasy book! It's so fun! I get to stay in an inn. <laughs> Boss room! Look at the those tiles. tiles look suspicious. What are those symbols? Let's be careful. You guys are talking over each other. Uh, Eastern Reach is a dangerous place full of lurking enemies and carefully concealed secrets. Enable scouting mode to move stealthily and search for hidden objects like traps and secret doors. Well, I don't think we have to, like, look too hard for this trap. Um... <gasps> I can add you guys! That'll be so fun. I may have said we could make our own. Okay, um... How do I do scout? Hey, buddy, you wanna scout? How can I help? You can scout. Um... I'm not sure how. Does she... She doesn't have an actual... Oh, she does. She has a battle axe. Can she use a shield? Should I give her the shield? Stealth by the resting button? Oh! Wait, uh, this is not the right thing. Um, but my armor is better. Wolf hide. Armor. She has skill armor. Leather armor. Yeah, I know. I'm just. Uh, what does he have? Does he have clothes on? Oh, he has leather armor too. Ooh, stealth. They'll never know I'm here. Okay. Um. Found something. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you did a good job. You did a really good job. Oh, what's this? No, wait. Um, you have yeah. you have fun being the crouch master back there. Does he have? Okay, I know. Okay, that may have sounded weird, but sure. I meant instead of those symbols, just like the tiles. Oh. Eh. Eh. <laughs> okay, thank you, Larry, though. Thank you so much. I might have to see if I can find a way to make uh, make the text bigger. But thank you very much for sticking with us. I appreciate it. I should probably... What time is it? I should probably be done soonish. But thank you, and we'll see. we'll see you next time. We'll see. And my voice is going really fast, too. Have a good night, though. Whew. Uh-oh. Must let my chat kind of glitched out for a second. It's like, welcome to the chat. Wel welcome to the chat room. No, no, not you. Hmm. Me. Symbol of a pattern circle to describe on the circle. Oh, I'm not a fire god like. Use a torch to light the brazier. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, lit it, to be honest. I shouldn't have lit that one. Oh, wait. Hmm. Dungeon, but beginning with dungeon puzzle. <laughs> okay, so look at that. Where we can try to make a path because it's it's deactivating some of the runes. There might be only a certain amount that I can have lit, maybe. Or or no, I don't know. Oh, I can light them all. How exciting! 
I did a hit! Yay! That was a really easy dungeon puzzle! What's over here? Sure. Ooh. Esmeral must be ancient, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. Shows a possession of Anguithan's wood. From all the Kith races, Amawa, Elf, Orland, Dwarf, and Human. They walk among pillars similar to the ones that span this chamber, each one top of the flame. Oh, okay. There's a clue. Let's see. So that was our, our clue for the area. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Ooze! Immune to blind the days, frightened, prone, and terrified. Okay. Right, Grammy? You're torn? I don't blame you. I don't mind uh, getting hints, but I also don't mind figuring stuff out on my own, so whatever you guys want to do is fine. Bye. Me. Let's say let's go. Eh? How much health does he have? Okay. Let me loot it. All of you. All, all of you. Oh, wait. Get out of stealth mode. I'll be quiet. Wait. Okay. Hmm. I got ooze plasma. Eh? Eh? Where'd that slime come from? Viscous and oily, the muck clings to anything it touches. Ooh, a polax. Cool. No problem. No problem. Okay. Hmm. Back we go. So I like that you can progress on, on monsters. Your beast chain progress, lesser black oots is at 12%. 27 out of 216 XP earned for like, so you can't grind too much, I guess? Like you can't just grind on one particular monster or something? There's a limit. There's a limit. This may or may not kick us in the butt. Mm. Why? Why did you have- I did not want- I d mm. <laughs> Okay. Oh, but I didn't see it. But I looked at all the- I looked at everything. I swear. There's a walk- oh, this? This right here? All I can see was the ooze. I looked at the wall carving over there. Oh! Oh, gross. A viscous slick of something dark and tar like runs down the wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Use your water skin to clean off the ooze. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst of surrounding it has chipped away in places, but the de 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 details of his head. From the tight curls of the hair to the ridges of his pointed ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty. A gem fills the other. Okay, so I need to find another gem. Why didn't that show up last time? I need to find another gem and put it in the eyeball. It does look like Solas back when Solas had hair. Also, I'm just gonna go like one at a time, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Fresh air in here. I think we found an exit. Sounds like the storm path, too. What you need? 
Oh, oh. oh wow, crossbow, leather armor, <gasps> relief gem, torch, and a tattered journal. Quest item. I want to look at the hmm. at the journal. The small folio is torn in several places and blood has slipped into several of the sheets. One later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine Anguethian artifact. The fellow who's had it said it was pretty nothing. It was a pretty nothing as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins. But if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Cillian List in the morning, then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. Um, but I don't want to take a gem. I feel no like... No problem. No! <laughs> Not why? Why? Why did it pick you? Uh... Hmm. Yeah, we need to take a nap. We need to take a nap. Oh, okay. Never mind. We don't. We don't need to take a nap. You might need a nap. He might need a nap. What you need? Left of campfire. I can change formation. Oh! I didn't mean to just sacrifice myself on the pyre of chaps i know it sounds like i know but i don't but now i'm torn as to the ethical nature Wait. Do you... ah! i put her in here by herself you hear that run 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 over here Will it follow us? Come back here, you coward. Okay, everybody attack him. Even you. Actually, you use this one. Wait. Eh? Eh? Okay, you're right. The gem was in the carving originally. Oh, that was easy. Hi, little guy. How can I help? Oh, oopsie, I did not. How can I help? Oh. Wait. Hmm? <laughs> eh? Did I... What's back here? <laughs> right away, come back here, you coward. Don't, don't, don't judge. Oh, uh -huh, we can break in over there. I think. That looks weak. Could be a shortcut. To what? Okay, first I want to go to the gym. Let's go to the gym. Let's put the gym back where it belongs. I like that. Somebody stole it, and I, I at least want to see what kind of treasure I'm going to be missing out on. I didn't realize that's what the formation button did. That's cool. You can totally change the way you want to do things. And you can, like, so right now, like, I'm in the front, and, like, our other warrior in the back, or in the middle, the rogue's in the back. Can I... How can I help? There we go. No, not you, no. Eh? Place the gem in the eye socket. The chamber begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives way. Yucky ick ick! Okay, let's all just attack it. Okay. Hmm? Dang it, she didn't do it. What you need? Kill it fast.
faster. What the heck? It's taking forever. Everybody move so I yeah. can loot this thing. so good okay beautiful let's take that shortcut now no wait okay I love that you're gonna hit tab sure. and see the uh, see the loot things it's very skyrim look how epic I look with my cloak on and it's a pretty blue sure where the shortcut leads because I'm pretty sure we've actually found the exit but but I have the stuff to mess with it so I might as well use the hammer and chisel it's to work the cracks lengthen and widen with your efforts but the process is more taxing than you expected sweat beads your forehead and your muscles begin to ache continue chiseling at the wall after several long moments you can still let me decide with one final tap, several blocks of stone shift and tumble loose, clearing a gap just wide enough to pass through. One exit, many ways. Alright, I like it. I could scout ahead, see what's around the corner. Okay. Hmm? That's a good plan, my man. I'll be quiet. Oh, we've got an enemy. And some sort of tunnel. <laughs> well, a few ways, anyway. Let's see. Okay, we've got a secret area back there. Don't mind me, just looking around. Oh, and another enemy. We would probably see us if I got too close. Okay, yep, yep. You can get detected. Okay. Okay. Well, good thing I moved. <laughs> We're, the game's like, uh, you're gonna be detected. All right, let's just get back and we'll fight off this guy at least for sure. Right, yeah, okay, that makes sense. For the stealth detection. Hmm. Let's go. Get him, boys and girls. No problem. Yeah. Aww. Mean. Get him! Spear Spiderling, that sounds cool. How can I help? Okay, Whew. I'm like constantly worried now that everybody's gonna die. Eh? No loot on that guy. Oh, okay, so we, we could have gotten there, but this was just a fun little side area. Okay, I see. 
Let's try hmm? this stealth again. More spiders. Oh, okay, well, just one spider anyway. Ooh, and some things to look at. Oh no! It's, uh, it sees me, basically. It sees me. But I got out of its line of sight. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Oops. Hmm. Crunch him. I killed him. Alright. Bats as large as chickens are strung in the webs. Well, that's unpleasant. Oh, gross. Bloodstone and a rapier. Okay. Yeah, I saw the yellow and the red. Out we go! Yay! We're gonna go out into the real world! Whoa, whoa! Somebody, it looks like somebody got frozen. Chicken bats! Mmm, yum, yum. Well, it sounds like my little sisters are home now, so I should probably go and see what's up with them. And if they want to play our game. Okay, new save file. Escape Ruins. As you can see, my caps lock is switched. But that looks cool. Okay, Kai, thank you so much for this game. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I really appreciate it. We That was really cool. This is a fun game so far. I'm looking forward to it. I've always wanted to play these classic games, but some of them are kind of hard to get into. But this one seems like it's going to be like a really good like hop into that sort of classic thing. Are you sure? Go, we go, are you, okay. I'm almost at the end. Oh. Of this section? Older robed man. Okay, we'll do it for you. All right, okay, I thought there was, I thought that was like, that was like the end. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus. An ancient structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins, ominous loom, and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. Older road man. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick gray beard frames the face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language, unlike anything you have ever seen. And he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jet out like wings of some malevolent creature. Okay, I don't want to start the next stream on this. Okay. Oathbinder, bear witness. And see this man has kept his word true to his last breath. Full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was. And regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. The book. The man passes his gaze over the other standing around him. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. He looks at each in the eye in turn. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill your oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Look at that walk animation. Aww, what? enough the old bald guy is not contributing his soul to whatever this is uh that's just so odd it's so odd that the guy would not be involved in killing himself bad guys have to wear bad ads or how would you know exactly for an instant the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still then all at once it erupts with a concussive surge Light floods your vision, and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land, and pays pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black, unconscious void. 
You open your eyes to a different place another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end of a great pillar of adra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered, or, or... On the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard and ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man, you are walking towards him. Now at a pace that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him. One question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. What is going on? That's my question. I know, right? So, a uh, pillar of, uh... <gasps> oh! My companions are dead! You awaken to find your malaise is broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flips through your periphery, but when you turn to look... You can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that. An involuntary paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it must be it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures of the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Hayden and Kaliska lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted and naturally in death. Oh, I would not want to start on this. Why can't you? They died. You are alone and far from help. Guild of Veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. I w my companions. Can you hear the whispers? Okay, I can't fit everything in here. I can hear the whispers, that's crazy. That's a cool little touch that not you wouldn't get very often. There's no way to save them? Yeah. Wow. Oh! I took now they're butt naked. I feel really bad. Sorry guys. Okay, we'll level up. Oh, um I think I'd like to up my lore. Oh, I don't really need stealth. Athletics, maybe. Oh, <laughs> my companions! Hold a minute! While I loot your bodies. Whilst I loot your bodies. I have no mechanic. Oh, I have six points! Oh, holy crap. Um. I should probably put some into athletics. And survival? Involves wilderness challenges to specialize information about nature. So I got I got plus one for monk and explorer. Mechanics. I don't have anything in. I have I do have lore because of explorer. I have athletics because of monk and stealth because of monk. Um. Uh, still. Well, okay. I guess I will at least put one into mechanics. It would be nice to have everything at least at one. Oh, wow. Talents can be used to customize your character beyond your class ability choices. Some talents modify existing abilities, but others add new abilities on their own. A subset of tag. My voice is dying. Um, wow, there is a lot. There's a lot. I can only pick one? Uh. Mortification of the soul. I don't know. Wow, I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, there's way too many choices. What? Ooh! Do 
I want? Do I want these? Do I do I want? Do I want this? I don't think I do. Do I? I don't know. Hold the lime. Snakes reflexes. Graceful retreat. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. okay, so this is the monk symbol. Okay. Well, why would I want to do why would I want to do these? Um, utility. Fast runner, scion of flame, heart of the storm, wound binding. Uh, if I want to be a monk bard, I don't know if I want to be a monk bard. I just want to be a monk. The rogue snark attack? <laughs> um... Ooh, that's cool. I can summon... I can summon skeletons. Ranger. I don't know. I do. I want to be good with the staff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, this kind of stuff? Or... Arbalist. Um, I don't know what I want. Why do I have to choose? I want to use a pole axe and a flail and a wand. Ruffian, marksman, hold the line. I could do fortitude. Weapon and shield. Oh, okay, interesting. Those are not so much. minor missiles that's cool I could have like a it'd be nice to maybe have taking the monk abilities okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna go yeah I'm gonna beef up my class at least that I have um I think I'll do this so that way I can cuz I cuz I didn't get a wound last time and I couldn't use my special ability Yay! I did it. Open the character sheet. Okay. This is the wound one. I'm going insane! Yeah, I'll stick with Monk until I figure out more of what I want. Besides, I really like the Monk class. Maybe like a paladin monk or something, something tanky. I like being tanky. I'm a fan. Right. I will take. I will. I will. I'll. I'll go through them. Let's see what appeals. I do like the idea of being able to summon things. That'd be pretty sick. I know, right? Whisper. The whispers are so loud. I feel like I'm in uh, Dishonored. But yeah. Now I think I will go. Thank you guys, though. I didn't realize that that was... I thought it was going to be, like, something to explore. I didn't see people out there. 
But let's... Where is it? Yeah. Can I save on top of it? Yeah. Okay. But... Yeah, I think I'm gonna head out now. But thank you guys so much. This was really fun. I'm really looking forward to playing this game more. I might be able to play every day this week. I might not be able to play on Saturday because Saturday is moving day. So I might try to get in a few hours during the day for the next couple of days. Good night, everybody. Or good day. Good day to ye, to ye all. And, and have a good night also. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.